which of the following naturally occurring ions is paired with its correct symbol? Potassium ion, sulfide, barium ion, or iodide? Let's examine choice A. K is the symbol for a potassium atom, and K with a plus 2 charge is the symbol for a potassium ion formed when the atom loses two electrons. It can happen, but only under certain conditions. In nature, you're not going to find any potassium ion with a charge of plus 2. All the potassium ions you'll find have a charge of plus 1, so choice A is wrong. When you do see a question like this on a test, chances are you will not see the phrase naturally occurring. Unless you are given information to the contrary, you should always assume that the question is referring to naturally occurring ions. We can use the periodic table to predict charges of naturally occurring monatomic ions. By monatomic ion, we mean an ion obtained from an atom losing or gaining electrons. Naturally occurring monatomic ions from group 1A all have a charge of plus 1. Potassium is in this group, so potassium ions have a charge of plus 1. Naturally occurring monatomic ions from group 2A have a charge of plus 2. Barium ion is in this group, so barium ions will have a charge of plus 2. The halides. The ions formed from the halogens, which are found in column 17 or group 7A, all have a charge of negative 1. Iodine is a halogen. Therefore, iodide, choice D, has a negative 1 charge. Naturally occurring monatomic ions from the nonmetals of group 6A all have a charge of negative 2. Sulfur is in this group. Therefore, sulfide will have a charge of negative 2. And the correct answer is then C. Among the choices, only barium ion is written with its correct formula. Here's a summary of naturally occurring monatomic ions. Monatomic ions derived from metallic elements all have a positive charge. Monatomic ions derived from 1A are always found to have a plus 1 charge. For group 2A, the charge is always plus 2. The aluminum ion is always found to have a plus 3 charge. Although transition metals and post-transition metals tend to form ions with different charges, the most common is plus 2. To repeat, plus 1 for alkali metals, plus 2 for the alkaline earth metals, plus 3 for aluminum, and more than one possible charge, usually ranging from plus 1 to plus 4, for the transition and post-transition elements. The most commonly found charge is plus 2. Note that monatomic ions from zinc, cadmium, and mercury are always found to have a charge of plus 2. Nonmetals, on the other hand, tend to form ions with a negative charge. The halogens, or group 7A, always form ions with a negative 1 charge. All halides have a negative 1 charge. For group 6A, the charge is always negative 2. And for group 5A, the charge is always negative 3. To repeat, the charges are negative 1 for the halides, negative 2 for ions from the nonmetal atoms of group 6A, and negative 3 for ions from nonmetal atoms of group 5A. Hydrogen tends to form two possible ions. The ion with a plus 1 charge is called the hydrogen ion. The ion with a negative 1 charge is called the hydride ion. What about the other elements we left out? The inner transition elements should be similar to the transition elements. All the others, including carbon, the metalloids, and noble gases, tend not to form monatomic ions. Carbon and the metalloids tend to form covalent bonds, that is, they tend to share electrons. Noble gases, on the other hand, are inert. They tend not to lose, gain, 
or share electrons.